I was thinking, which model should I take the next one for detailed review? Should we try to implement a Jira page or maybe issue action? And then I decided, why not to implement the app with all these modules? Why not to make the G uh, Jira, app for Jira with Forge, which will show all possible locations of all possible modules. Wait, wait, wait. Of course, it will be not quite useful for end users, but for you developers, it could be very interesting because it will show all possible locations where you can extend the UI of the Jira. Sounds interesting. Let's try. So first of all, let's decide which models we are going to implement. Which of them has the visual part? Let's make a screenshot, put it to some whiteboard page, wait until loading, and then decide what should be a part of our app. Uh, let's mark it like this. So, Jira page definitely should be part of the, our implementation because it has a visual part and in Forge it extends the pages and you can build your own page for all the admins in the admin menu. Okay, it's still loading. It's fine. We can continue to mark modules which we are going to implement. Then custom fields, let's implement them also. We would like to see that it's possible to extend custom fields inside UI. Dashboard action script doesn't fit our needs because it doesn't have any visual part. It's just a background script, which I rendered it in the hidden iframe. Not a good example. Dashboard gadget, yes. Entity property, no. It's for search purposes. It doesn't have any visual part. Global page, global permission, no, because it will just add the new permission without the ability to extend the UI somehow. Action, activity, context, panel. We skip glance because it's already deprecated and we don't need to use it. We should not use it anymore. We don't need a background script or jackal function because jackal function will just introduce a new function by name without any visual part. Project page, yes. Settings page, yes. Modifications, no, because it's just about the ability to change visibility of particular fields during the creation and not much options to extend the UI with the new visual elements. Uh, workflow, condition, validation, and post function, yes, also looks good. Let's try to implement all of them. Maybe you think it will look like we will do something amazing and they somehow automatically appear in our app. Unfortunately, no, we need to do something boring. Just open all the modules one by one, copy the example and insert it inside our project. Uh, just one by one, no magic, nothing interesting. Just control C, control V. I will make it quickly for you so you can see already the result. And after many days of active and intense development, we have this beautiness. In our manifest, we changed all the keys, titles, description to something which represent Forge module type. As you can see, we have custom field of string type. Uh, it's not a string, it's a number. Let's rename it custom field types of uh, 
some again type whatever gadgets global pages activity pages and many 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 more all of them now should be possible to deploy which means we will pack everything together send it to forge environment and it will be available in our jira instance because we already installed the app in our previous video but it's also important that i've changed our index file of the forge to this simple implementation we just introduced some empty resolver for all the resolving functions and one post function which is required by the workflow post function module also i've updated our front-end part here in static ui folder in the apps js we now have this tiny react app which doing nothing but load the context of the current module and show it like this is and here will be a jira issue panel or jira project page name okay looks good i think it's installed let's go to jira and have a look what's currently extended which place is currently extended first of all in the apps menu we can find our forge global page title if you open it it will show us that we inside the module and this is just a jira global page okay let's go to some project inside project now we have project page it's a forge project page again if you open it it will show us the exact module name forge module name of this location if you will go down to a particular issue like this one we can see multiple locations appeared here forge issue activity tab which is again just showing the forge ne module name nothing more context issue context um, issue action and somewhere here issue panel so all these places could be extended with your app and could bring some useful functionality for end users it's not all of them we have a few more missed somewhere should be a custom gadget let's type forge forge gadget because we've added module we should extend um, forge gadgets again it's doing nothing more just print out the name of the module itself and here inside settings apps we have the global page which available only for admins it's called jira admin page so many models many locations i didn't show you a few more uh, related all of them are related to workflows and custom fields but you can try it by your own the link to this app will be below the video and you can clone it from my repository and just uh, try to install it to your dev instance and play with it you will also see all possible locations where your forge app could extend jira ui and bring something amazing to your end users thank you for watching and bye